Hello, here is a specimen of a kidney that has been bisected with some surrounding tissue and we can see that there is an extremely large, very ill-defined mass superior to the upper pole of the kidney. I'm going to turn the specimen around and again we can see here the kidney which is quite sharply demarcated from this mass. It's uh, difficult to know the actual original size of the kidney because this has been distorted by the tumour. But if we assume that this is the maximal size from the superior to inferior pole, we can see that the measurement is only around um, 5 to 6 centimetres. So this is actually a kidney from a young child and we have a variegated large irregular tumour mass just above the kidney located in the suprarenal region. This is where we would find the adrenal gland normally and this in fact is a tumour that has arisen from the adrenal gland and this is a neuroblastoma. So grossly we can see that it is an irregular variegated appearing fleshy mass. There are some pale areas, there are some darker areas and we can see these geographic pale areas among the darker areas and again here. As you can see, this irregular geographic area, and this represents necrosis. There are some other areas here, as well as here, and the dark areas represent hemorrhage. So overall, it has a very variegated appearance with different colours in different areas. We don't obviously see any invasion directly into the kidney in this particular plane. A neuroblastoma is a tumour that usually arises in young children and most of the time it occurs below the age of 2 and it can arise in the adrenal medulla and also in the region of the sympathetic ganglia. Uh, there are different degrees of differentiation from the most immature tumour which is the neuroblastoma which essentially is a small round blue cell tumour so in the scale from immature it's neuroblastoma at the most immature end followed by ganglion neuroblastoma where there are some uh, areas of better differentiated cells in the form of ganglion cells and a little bit of stroma called Schwannian stroma and then right at the very well differentiated end this would be called a ganglion neuroma where we only have ganglion cells and we have Schwannian stroma but we do not have any of these very immature blast cells. These blast cells are called neuroblasts. So you can see here on microscopy that it is a very necrotic tumour and this usually represents rapidly growing tumours. As we move down to other areas, we can actually appreciate the cells are small and they are round. So this is a classical example of a small round blue cell tumour. And in fact, in some areas, there is also rosette formation, which is quite classical in a neuroblastoma. There are several important prognostic features for neuroblastoma. One of them would be the age. So the younger the child is, usually the better the prognosis. And the stage is also important. And also the presence of certain molecular aberrations, such as the N-MIC amplification. This is an unfavorable prognostic factor. The degree of differentiation is also important. The more well differentiated this tumour is, or the more mature this tumour is, the better the prognosis. So in summary, this is an example of a suprarenal tumour, and this involves the region of the adrenal gland, which is no longer seen in the specimen. We have a large variegated tumour with some darker areas of hemorrhage and some pale areas of necrosis. And this tumour does not appear to directly invade into the kidney in this particular plane of sectioning. This is a neuroblastoma.